best God you would ever have. God have no rivals. He makes no errors. He makes no mistakes. As this year is approaching to a close, we all have something to thank God for. Now to my viewers, I'm pretty sure many of you <laughs> is very happy today. It isn't that often that Heathen's Day come on Sunday. That's true. That's true. Amen. Today is a holiday from hell. So-called Christmas. And if it was Jesus' birthday, who's acting like it? You get drunk, you party, you go to clubs, and saying you're celebrating Christmas. And Jesus don't get no credit. Which is so true. But uh, to you that don't know, to the million of new viewers, uh -huh. did you know Christmas is of the devil? Okay. <laughs> you didn't know that? I didn't know that. And there's a particular type of people uh -huh. that the scriptures call by name mm -hmm. yeah. that celebrate Christmas. That's right. It talks about your mama. Your husband. <laughs> your first wife and your second one. That's right. And your third, your children. Your old slap happy grandpappy. I want to show you in the Bible what you people are. I know you got your tree up this morning. <laughs> Churches dismissed early. That's right. That's true. Or churches got trees in their assembly. That's true. Mm -hmm. All on their ground, little dirty, ugly, plastic, worn out, paint deteriorating mangers. And then there are some got live people. Mm -hmm. Got hay on the ground and got cattle. They can't find cattle, they get a dog and dress them up like sheep. <laughs> the deacon would get dressed up like a shepherd. Second wife would get dressed up like Mary. That's right. And then the baby that the preacher fathered by one of the members in the church, they'd throw that in the crib and dress it up with hay, make it look like a manger. Hear me good, heathens? That's right. You know, I said before, if there really was a Scrooge, he had the right spirit <laughs> until those Christmas devils visit him. If there really was a Grinch that stole Christmas, he should have stowed it and burnt it <laughs> so it don't come back again. That's right. Now, let me give you Bible for you heathens that are watching. That goes for any of you here. That's right. They got little Charlie Brown Christmases like Williams used to have. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I often think of this. You know, me and Williams came up together. Oh, Lord. He had the most sorriest, <laughs> wickedest, weakest, My Lord. ugly, <laughs> tree I've ever seen in anybody <laughs> this is when he was blind and didn't know better that's right the tree was only about yay tall and <laughs> that's why I call it a Charlie Brown Christmas <laughs> it was yay tall but the decorations some of them was almost look big as basketballs <laughs> Footballs and the tree looks stressful. 
That thing was loaded so much the tree was leaning. <laughs> like it was pleading, please get this stuff off of me. <laughs> now, whether your Christmas tree is small or large, that's true. Viewers, as this program is known for, pointing you to Bible. The Bible. You ain't ever read since you've been in the world the date that Jesus was born. That's right. Never since you've been here. No. Go to work in the tenth chapter of Jeremiah. Let me demolish it quickly in my quickly. opening remarks. Jeremiah chapter 10. I want to demolish it. Demolish it. Destroy it. That's it. Because I know some of you here are heathens. I know. <laughs> because you got the heathen look. Yeah, I remember that look because Williams had it. Oh, Lord. The Lord delivered him from the heathen look. That's right. He ain't the only one have it. Some of you had it too. That's right. I had it. Yeah. Hey Amen. We just didn't have a tree in our house as a kid, but my mother, God bless her wonderful loving heart. Wonderful. We can look to her yes. to be a heathen for us. Amen. And she brought us gifts and all of that. My father, oh man, he shot it back to hell. <laughs> He would tell my mother, you know Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. He told her, if you don't stop buying these kids gifts, you're going to go to hell with them. Mm -hmm. That was a good man. Amen. Amen. But I was glad when mother would take us to Lit Brothers. That's before many of you young folk tired. Lit Brothers and Straw Bridges and oh my Lord. Couldn't wait. I think of my kids, and uh, I wasn't a heathen, but when we went to a mall one time, and my oldest daughter, it was just Brittany and Sierra at the time, and they were raised that, of course, Christmas is not in the Bible, but oh, when Brittany saw that Christmas village, you know, they put up that stuff two and three months before it came. That's right. And we went shopping, and uh, they had the village up. And they had those tall looking things that looked like life size dolls. Yeah. All lit up. Brittany looked at that thing and joy came over. She said, Daddy, Daddy, look. Oh, look. I said, Brittany, that's that's of the devil. She looked at me and said, No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> All right, viewers, I want you to get this, you fake Christians. That's it. That's what you are. You are fake Christians. Yes. That's right. You know, good and well, no three, four, five hundred pound man is coming down your chimney, not even in the suburbs. That's right. If he come down in the suburbs, he ain't safe. No. There's a lot of gunners in the suburbs. Amen. That fella pull out that Glock and blow you to pieces. That's right. And just leave your black boots hanging down the fireplace. <laughs> They're not doing that. Follow me in your Bible. Get this. Jeremiah chapter 10. We'll start at verse 1. All right. Let's go to work. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of the Israel. The first word is what? Hear. Why do God want you to hear? Because he you know you're stubborn. That's right. And you don't want no one to tell you nothing. That's right. And one thing about a lie, it traveled for years. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a tough time when your eyes come open and you're trying to get your wife to see that it's wrong. Yeah. You're trying to get your children to see that they're wrong. And when you don't participate in it no more, they look at you as you're mean and they say, oh, you're in a cult. Yeah. Holiness is not the only truth or should I say the only belief. Right. That don't celebrate Christmas. That's right. The Jews have a tricky way about it. Hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good. Amen. I say the Jews have a tricky way about it. Amen. The Jews that believe in the Torah, the Old Testament, yeah. do not believe that Jesus was born December 25th. Yeah. No. Not a real Jew believe it. No. But they leave their businesses open for you. Yeah. They make money off of you. That's right. They would even allow their stores and place of business to be decorated. That's right. 
to get your money. All right, I want you to get this here now. Follow me. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Don't get mad at Geno Jennings because you are heathen. No. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not. That means don't you accept no lessons. That's right. From heathens. That's right. That teach you the arts and crafts of heathenism. Learn not the way of the heathen. Now the Bible is going to itemize what heathens do. Follow me and get this. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yes. For the customs of the people are vain. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Right then, God lets you know it's a tradition that people are indulging in. That's right. Yeah. It's a custom. Customs. And uh, that custom, if it's godly, mm -hmm. it'll be written in the scriptures because anything that God wants us to do, uh -huh. he going to have it written. That's right. See, I believe on Jesus according to what the scripture says. That's because it. Because that, that was his advice. That's right. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said. As the scripture. Listen at this. For the customs of the people are vain. Yes. For one cutteth a All tree. All right. Now here are the deeds. It's the deeds. Of heathenism. That's right. Yeah. The customs. Of the, the people. The traditions. Of heathens. Are vain. This is you, father. That's right. Mother. That's right. Sons, daughters, husband and wives. That's right. Get all in debt and then want to beg Jesus to get you out of it. Amen. Look at the mega preachers now. Mm. All of them undoubtedly over the air this morning and even them that's not mega. <laughs> Amen. Storefront. Little storefront churches. That's right. Or they have them podcasts in their bathroom. <laughs> Amen. Sitting on their porcelain throne. That's right. Saying Merry Christmas. That's right. Women preachers, Merry Christmas. Amen. Men getting dressed up like a red suit pervert, Merry Christmas. That's right. Amen. Think of it, parents. Why would you take your children to a mall to sit on the lap of a stranger? Amen. And he hold your child there so close oh, yeah. to his private parts. That's true. That's right. Letting the children play with his beard. That's right. And you mothers and fathers sit there and take pictures. Yeah. With the pervert. Amen. Yeah. Never thought of this, did you? Amen. Hear the old man now. The Bible said, learn not. The way of the heathen. You learned it. That's why you practice it every year. Yeah. Amen. Before Christmas Day come, peace start coming in the house. That's right. Eh? That's right. Moment of glory. That's it get right. close to the 25th. That's right. It get close. Peace started Peace. to come over to the house. That's right. Hey, Amen. Out of nowhere. <laughs> That's right. A great cloud. Amen. <laughs> a great awakening. That's right. Hits the family. Amen. Hey, Amen. Father, take a break from cussing and beating up his wife. Yeah. Take a break from it. Oh, yeah. Daughters and sons take a break from cussing each other out. Mm. Peace on earth. Peace. That's right. Good will to hell bounders. Amen. Amen. Go buy a bunch of fruit cake and eggnog and vodka. Yes, they will. Wine. They're already planning to get stoned. That's right. Go rent out a place to have a party. Want to have a Christmas party. Christmas party. Party. Oh, yeah. For the represent Jesus, though. Yeah. They get drunk, party. Have a strip tease party. <laughs> Amen. So the strip tease girl can put on a little horns on her hair. That's right. And dangle bells hanging from her breasts. That's right. Amen. Put on a little red thong. Oh, hey, man. With a little white piece of cotton on the back so she can mimic a deer's tail. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Put on big black boots. That's right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. And they make a reindeer out of you. That's right. Look how foolish you are. That's right. 
You that are here might as well say amen because amen, you used to do the same thing. Yeah. And some of you visiting are still doing the same thing. Amen. And the millions of you watching, many of you are still doing the same thing. That's right. That's right. Amen. Imagine celebrating Chris Jesus' birthday, <laughs> sending someone a box of cigars. Yeah. A pack of weed. Oh, yeah. Give them a bottle of wine. That's right. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Giving cards to your second wife and your third husband. Amen. And your statutory rape date. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's Two right. homosexuals exchanging gifts. Go ahead, brother. Barney and Fred. Go ahead. Come on, kids. Go ahead, brother. Barney gave Fred a vibrator. Fred gave Barney a scarf. That's right. That's right. Am I right? That's right. You don't like this. Oh, no. Oh, Let me hear no. you say Merry Christmas now. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Hear this. For the customs of the people are vain. 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 That's right. Vain. They don't like this preaching. They say I'm too oh, vulgar. Oh, no. They don't like it. I'm a truth teller. Oh, yes. I don't have no filter when it come to truth yet. That's right. You don't want to learn the truth. Don't you watch this program. <laughs> That's right. It's best you go to social media and watch anybody Amen. else. Amen. Because they won't tell you nothing no. that will save your soul. No. They don't care about your soul. No. You are heathen. Heathens. He then learn not the way of the heathen. This is Bible here. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. That's why I tell you this is the greatest religious program on all forms of media. That's right. That's why so many people are flocking to it from all around the world, all type of nationalities. Amen. One man commented and said, I, I, I stopped going to church years ago. Yeah. He said, but Pastor Jennings, he, he quoted the words of Agrippa. He almost made me become a Christian. Amen. Christmas, Amen. Christmas is a spell from hell yeah. That's right. that makes you feel well. That's right. Take that quote. Don't, don't you put that on your, don't put on your window, Merry Christmas. You put, you spit some white spray paint that mimics snow and put that on your window in your house. Yeah. Christmas is a spell from hell that make my neighborhood heathens feel well. Feel well. Amen. Write that. That's right. That's right. Somebody say, Merry Christmas. Tell them, happy hellbound. <laughs> Amen. Happy hellbound. My Lord. You heathen. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. You know, I love the Bible. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. I love the Bible. That's right. Where they got to put everything oh, in, they put everything in right perspective. You know, like a person that shoot pool. Yeah. They rack them balls up, brother. And when he see that shot and it look difficult to the one looking at the table, he call it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this one in that pocket, that one in that pocket, that one in that pocket. And I'm going to do it all with one shot. <laughs> Amen. And he got to position that thing right. Mm -hmm. yeah. He already know what direction he's going. That's right. And when he call it and know what he's doing, he know how, how hard to hit it or how soft. Yeah. And he hit it just right. Oh, yes. And them balls go exactly where he That's said it would be. That's right. I'm calling the word of God just right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. And this truth this is, is truth. going everywhere like God wanted to be. That's right. All right, get this, viewers. Jeremiah chapter 10, we're at verse 3. Follow me. For the customs of the people are vain. And what do they do? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. You don't have to go to the forest now. No. They don't went to the forest for you. Got all them trees in the back of a truck. Yeah. Stacked them up all on the sidewalk. That's right. Heathen mother and father out yeah. there just happy holding yeah. hands. Amen. With the children filling all the greenery of the tree. That's right. Oh, that tree look healthy. I saw so many folk. Trees longer than their car. Got it hooked onto the top of their car. Amen. Yeah. Years good. ago, I saw a man with a tree. He didn't have a car. He was dragging it down the street. My Lord. 
Amen. We ain't got on scepter. Part of the tree was hanging out the door and got <laughs> tore up. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> eh? Amen. Amen. I remember I saw a man in a wheelchair. Mm. Had a tree <laughs> laying across his wheelchair. My Lord. I was trying to figure out how are you doing how are you this? Doing this? <laughs> across his wheelchair, rolling. My Lord. You know, one thing about the Christmas lie to make you forget the condition you're in. That's right. You'll risk your life. <laughs> That's right. Just for a tree. What a fool. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. It is. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. And then what? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What happened? They decked it. This is you. Amen. There is no other time of year that this is done That's other right. than Christmas. That's right. You get the tree. That's right. And the Bible says they do what? They deck it you with silver. You deck it. You get it silver. all decorated with what? With silver and gold. Oh, yes. They, they be playing Christmas carols in the Christmas house. Carols. That's right. Hey, got Nat King Cole singing in the background. That's right. Just nuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Everybody got the Christmas spirit. That's right. All on the job, Christmas the job. carols, all through the speakers. And God's people better be careful. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That spirit of heathenism will come over you right while, while at your desk. Yes, it will. Before you know it, you'll be just humming. Mm-hmm, Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. You old internet Rudolph. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's right. You see how the devil just lured you into heathenism. Yes, he will. Now, we, the church from the Lord Jesus Christ, God's people, yes. holy people. Oh, holy people. Yeah. We don't condone no lies. No. no. The Bible ain't never said the 25th of December was Jesus' birthday. No. So we ain't going to say it. That's right. You can't make up nothing about Christ. No. You just got to go by what's written. That's it. What of God says, whatsoever things were written aforetime is written for our learning, our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope and we don't have hope in fairy tales. <laughs> That's right. That's we don't right. have hope in no fairy tale. No. You old drunken, beer-guzzling Christmas heathen. <laughs> Amen. And you say you're Christians. Amen. You're a liar. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. And what? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Tell us what they do, William. They deck it with silver and with gold. Oh, look at you now. <laughs> Amen. Look at you. You got Deckard. your Christmas dinners. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, macaroni and cheese, candy, and you got that free turkey from your market. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Eh? That's right. Hey, man, your honey basting it in. Mother got turkey, meatloaf, chicken, and whatnot, cutting the pineapples and sticking That's it right. on the whole country ham. <laughs> That's, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. Just basting it while she's saying all the different basing families it. is coming over. Hey, Amen. Then people in the other room playing That's games. Right. The other one is smoking the pipe. They're smoking weed. The other one is drinking wine, eggnog, and vodka. Preaching, vodka brother. mixed with orange juice. The other ones is somewhere else. Preach been trying to look at, amen, uh, the daughter in the bathroom. Mm. The other somewhere else watching Preach porn. It, brother. The other somewhere else watching the Looney Tunes. The other somewhere else That's having right. a card game. That's and you right. mean to tell me all this trash? Trash. All this trash That's represent right. Jesus? My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. What? Thus saith the Lord, learn not. The way of the heathen. Obviously, if they tell us not to learn it, mm -hmm. there's some free lessons being out there. That's right. Somebody's giving lessons in heathenism. That's right. And God tell you not to learn. Learn not the way of the heathen. Not the let goes for any of you here. Any that's of right. you here that celebrate Christmas, you're a heathen this afternoon. That's a heathen. I'm glad you're here so I can tell you to your face. That's right. You're nothing but a heathen. That's right. I thank you for visiting, you heathen. That's I thank right. you for being here, you heathen. Amen. And now you better repent for being a heathen. That's it. And go down the heathen water in the name of Jesus Christ and wash them heathen sins off of you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Get me? For the customs of the people are vain. Yeah. Vain, vain. Amen. When, Amen. when it comes to Christmas, 
I, I'm, I, I'm like Scrooge. Yes, you are. Humbug. <laughs> That's right. When you're of God, you don't celebrate this lie. No. You don't accept no gifts. No. You don't give gifts. That's right. You don't bake nothing to participate in a Christmas celebration That's or right. party at the job or at friend's house. That's right. That's right. We don't strengthen the hands of, of evil evildoers. Doers. That's right. That's right. We don't even accept a Christmas bonus. Amen. Why you got to wait for Christmas to give me a bonus? Right. That's right. That's what they do. If my work is sufficient, just give me my bonus. <laughs> That's right. Don't wait for Heathen's Day to give me no bonus. That's right. Get me. For the customs of the people are vain. You know, when you tap, when you touch people's wallet, they think you're crazy then. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said, do not after their after works. After their works. He left us an example that we should follow his steps. Right. Even for right. prophets that some of them preach against Christmas, they didn't want to go that far. No. They say, oh, well, Pastor Jenner done went a little bit too extreme. <laughs> we are against condoning a lie right. in every form. In every form. That's right. Not some ways, That's right. in every way. Amen. It is our job, job not to misrepresent Christ in no manner. That's right. That's right. Preach it, man. Amen. Amen. Preach it. Go ahead. Somebody say, what if somebody gave you $2 billion and tell you straight to your face, it's for Christmas. What would you do? Turn it down quicker Amen. than I can spit. That's right. I don't believe that. I don't care what you don't believe. No. Money don't move me. That's right. I'm just not that type of man that money moves. Amen. Money pass away. Pass away. I don't mind if that pass away. Right. It is God that I don't want to pass away out of my life. That's right. Go ahead, man. Love ahead. of money is the root of all evil. Root of all evil. And when you put your love for money above the love of God, yeah. then you can be persuaded by money. That's right. Amen. I can't right. be persuaded by a penny. <laughs> Amen. 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 Listen at this. For the customs of the people are vain. Vain. For worthless. once. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. And what? The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What do they do? They deck it with silver and they with gold. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Yes. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. Yes. They must needs be born because they cannot go. And the Bible's itemizing what you folk Itemize. do this, on this day. That's right. And nowhere is he reading a talk about the coming of the Messiah. <laughs> no. Listen. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. Yes. They must needs be born because they cannot go. And be not afraid of them. Don't be afraid of for them. For they cannot do evil. Yes. Neither also is it in them to do good. Yes. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord. There is none like unto thee, O Lord. Thou art great. Thou art great. And thy name is great in might. No, he coming on Christmas Day, O Lord. O Lord, thou art great in thy no, name. No, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Lord, we celebrate your birthday today. Oh, Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. It ain't said nothing about some birthday, <coughs> December 25th. No. Not at all. Not at all. So you bunch of heathens, I want you to straighten you out now. That's right. Straighten you out on this so-called Christmas day. And I know many of you are watching. You are heathens. You know you are. You yeah. celebrities. Sure. Amen. And, man, you're going to have your big party today, Amen. right after you leave your false church. Yes, they will. Some of you already got started your party Friday night. <laughs> That's right. You already started days early. That's right. So you can carry it all through the weekend. Amen. And the false churches, the fake churches fake church. that got their mangers all on the grounds yeah. and uh, got uh, wreaths all on the doors and all on the windows. What oh, you call yeah. it? Holly? Holly. Holly. Mm -hmm. I asked William because he would know. <laughs> Amen. Holly. Our Lord, my Lord. Amen. They got the different, even so-called Christian choirs saying right. Christmas carol. That's right. All of it is of the devil. Oh, that's right. Learn not the way of the heathen. Don't sing it. Amen. Don't come up and say we got a Christmas message 
this is the day our Savior was born. That's, that's endorsing it. it. That's endorsing it. There shouldn't be a Christmas tree in your church. That's right. And even if part of your church is rented out to the community and you get some type of funds from the government, you should not detour from the Bible and compromise and, and let senior citizens or hmm. children or a school or a nursery program bring a Christmas tree Go in ahead. that church. That's right. That's right. That's right. God said, my house. That's right. Shall be called. Glory to God, a house of prayer. Hallelujah. For all people. For all people. For all people. I don't care what kind of programs the government uh, fund. They're not funding nothing here yet. Oh, no. If they are funded at all. <laughs> That's right. Because we won't bow, won't we'll bow bend, won't compromise, not the size of a gnat's eyelash in his left eye. That's right. They get one dime from the government. That's right. Oh, no, we ain't that cheap. No, no. We're going to sell out on God and God's truth. Amen. Just to have a program sponsored by the government? That's right. No. Oh, no. Nor will the government one tell one. me I can do this and I can do that yeah. and try to dictate my wish up. That's right. My wish up is between me and God. That's right. And I'll fight all the governments of the planet Earth. Amen. The day you try to tell me how, hallelujah, how, how to pray. How to pray. When to pray. When I can serve God and when I can. That's right. What? Not here. That's right. What of God say, he whom the Son have set free. He's free indeed. Free indeed. I'm a free man, brother. Oh, yes. Listen, I'm a free man and a slave. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> hey! That's right. You're a slave. Who's your master? The Bible said one, one is, your, is master. your master, even Christ. Even Christ. Yeah. That's right. God is my master. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm a slave to him willingly. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Go ahead, man. I'm out there in the fields. I ain't picking cotton. No. I'm picking truth. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? Yeah. Picking truth. That's Glory right. Take God, amen. Blessed be the name of God. Amen. All right. For as much as there is none like unto thee, there O Lord. none like unto thee, O Lord. Thou art great. Oh, you're great. And thy name is great in might. And your name is great in might. So I just wanted to jab that at you. <laughs> It's a good Amen. jab. And the Bible said be instant in season. That's right. And out of season. Out of season. We preach this in the summer. That's right. When Christmas is not here. That's right. That's out of season. Out of season. Now I'm preaching it in season. Right. Amen. The one thing about it, if, if it would have snowed, if it would have snowed, Ooh. oh, that would have made people more happy. Oh, yeah. They have been out there, we got a white Christmas. <laughs> That's right. That's a bunch right. of heathens. That's right. You don't buy no gifts when you walk. Here. Hear me, viewers. When you're walking with God like the word of God requires, yeah. you don't buy no gifts for Christmas. That's you right. don't accept no That's gifts right. for Christmas. You don't have no Christmas dinners. Yeah. You don't go to no Christmas parties. You don't go to no Christmas gatherings. You don't endorse it at all. At if all. you do, you use a liar mm -hmm. to say you're a Christian. Right. You don't represent Christ. You represent the devil out of hell. That's right. You, your mama, your daddy, and your children. That's right. And your pastor. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord, learn And all not. the church members. That's right. What are they, Williams? The way of the heathen. Heathen. What are they? Heathen. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. You heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Give you the Esther look. You heathen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you heathen. heathen. That's what you are. That's right. You can look at T.D. Jakes, Joel Austin, Creflo O'Dollar, all the preachers all over social media, on yeah, television. You can hear them. That's this right. is the day. Tell a bold lie. Yes, they will. They bold about it. Yes, they are. This is the day our Savior was born. Was born. All right, give me the epistle of John. Mm -hmm. Second chapter. Second chapter. Begin at verse 15. First John chapter 2. While he's finding that, let me update you on the baptismal report. I believe we got a two-week report. Ten in headquarters, five in Bronx, six in uh, Pine Bush, New York, four in New Brunswick, ten in Delmar, Delaware, 14 in Baltimore, one in Raleigh, four in Charleston, one in Columbia, four in Charlotte, two in Augusta, 21 in Atlanta, two in Miami, 12 
in Orlando, three in Memphis, one in Jackson, six in San Antonio, Texas, six in Dallas, Texas, six in Houston, Texas, five in Las Vegas, Nevada, two in Los Angeles, California, two in Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, one in Federal Way, Washington, four in Sacramento, California, seven in North Chicago, six in Detroit, eight in Cincinnati, two in Cleveland, International Baptism, four in Toronto, Canada, two in Edmonton, Canada, eight in Willington, uh, New Zealand, seven in Christ Church, New Zealand, five in Johannesburg, South Africa, 181 souls. Wonderful. That's a blessing. Wonderful. All right. First, Follow me. First let's, John. let's go to work. First and John I want to say two. to all my viewers, I hope to see you this weekend coming mm -hmm. in Greensboro, North Carolina. You come on now. You may as well get ready, fly in, roller skate in, amen, whatever way you can get to America and to Greensboro, North Carolina. You come on now. This is the closing year. Amen. You don't want to be acting like a fool year in and year out. It's time for you to That's make right. a change. I didn't say make a New Year's resolution, but no. you better make a change because uh, the end of all things is at hand. And as the years come in and go out, don't expect it to get any better. No. Murder rate will continue to increase. And the love for death, the lust for death and the lust for killing yeah. will forever be in man and woman. That's right. They're murdering each other with no conscience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're killing each other over the most dumbest things. Amen. Killing each other over a woman. Killing each other over a man. Yeah. Killing somebody over a phone. Oh, yeah. Killing each other over a pair of earrings, a watch, right. over a car. That's right. Killing each other. Why? That's they right. have a strong hate for God. That's it. And when you have a hate for God, it's impossible for you to love your fellow man. That's right. Listen. First John chapter 2 and at verse 15. Begin at verse 14, if you will. Verse 14. Yes. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning. Yes. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. I have written unto you, fathers, because you known him from the beginning. From the Who Lord. is the one that the fathers knew or that the elders knew? Yeah. The Lord God of heaven and earth. That's right. Beautiful thing to know him. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Beautiful thing to know him and understand right. his perfect, infallible way. That's right. All right. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. Young men, God wants strong, strong young men. That's right. So strong that they're strong enough to take a stand for him. That's right. When you take a stand, not, not for them. No, we him. We got no more than one God him. to take a stand for. That's right. Take a stand for him. Him. Mm -hmm. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. Because you're strong. And the word of God abideth in you. It can't be in you unless you're taught it. That's right. When the word of God abides in you, God wants you to stand for it. That's it. And when you stand for it, God wants you to be sound in it. That way, no teaching. Yeah, yeah, hear me good. No teaching. No teaching. Can come along mm -hmm. and uproot you. That's right. One of my ministers called me from the South and said that a brother and his wife left the church. And he said, Pastor Jennings, they went and followed the false prophet. He said, I asked the brother, you believe in two gods now? He said, yes. My Lord. He said, I believe in two gods. My Lord. I believe in the Father and the Son. All right, I believe in the Father and the and Son, the Son too, but I don't believe in two gods, you fool. That's right. Eh? That's right. The Father is God, the oh. creator of the world. Right. The Son was the minister, sacrifice, Emmanuel being interpreted God with us. That's it. Servant of God, flesh and blood. That's it. But that flesh and blood was in God? No. That's a lie that Catholics told. That's right. Hail Mary, the mother of God. You will go to hell telling that lie. That's right. God don't have no mother. No mother. No. That's right. The father is a divine nature. Son is a human nature. nature. Amen. It's just two different natures. That's like it. the spirit of God that's in you. That's, that's right. divine. Right. But your fleshy body that the God is in, that's human. That's human. Two different natures. That's all. Amen. We take a firm stand that God is one. That's it. Eh? Amen. Amen. He said, well, I just want you to know. I said, that's all right. You pray for them. You, yeah. If two go out, God will send 500. That's right. That's right. I'm not making this up either. No. 
people is coming in this man like 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 flies. Oh yeah. Have eh? one go out, God send one thousand. Yes, He will. Eh? That's right. But let me tell you, viewers, that Jehovah Witness teaching have been here before I was born. Mm -hmm. That there are two gods. Two gods. And the Trinitarians come along that there are three separate and distinct personalities in the Godhead. Godhead. And the Mormons come along and say there are five gods. That's right. In the country of India, uh -huh. they have over three million, three million gods. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Here's God Almighty. I want you to hear this. He shot down the possibility of it being a God with him. With him. I want to deal with everything I said. Yeah. Listen at my language. Amen. He shot down the possibility. One, a God with him. He shot that down. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. Follow me. See now that I. God talking. See now that I. See now that I. Even I. Even I. Am he. No, I'm them. Am he. I'm they. Am he. I'm we. Am he. Come on. And what did God say? And there is no God with me. Hey. And what did God say he do? I kill. No, we kill. I kill. Glory to God. The one God talking. I kill. He look at it. He's killing the ideology That's and right. the philosophy and the theory and the opinion of even the possibility right. of a God being with him. I kill. What did he say? I Give kill. Give me all of it. See now that I, even I, am he. I am he. he. And there is no God with me. No God with me. Now who know it better than him? <laughs> That's right. He ought to know who's with him. That's right. I dare any religious leader or church goer anywhere. Anywhere. Of any religion under the sun. Right. Tell me the God that's with the Almighty and give me Bible for it. That's right. Don't quote me the scripture. Jesus on the right hand of God. No. I believe that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not dumb enough to think that Jesus is standing on the right hand of somebody else. That's right. Because the Bible didn't say he's on the right hand of somebody else. No. Not at all. No. You don't know what right hand means. That's right. Right hand mean power. mean power. Right here. Right hand mean majesty. That's right. Yeah. Right hand mean authority. Right. The Bible said thine right hand. Thy right hand, O Lord. Listen at this. Exodus chapter 15 and at verse 6. All right. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thine right hand. Amen. You know, I can bark this by God permission as loud as I want, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. That's right. Thine right hand. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thine power, it thine authority, O Lord. Is become glorious in power. Glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord. That don't, he ain't talking about his literal right hand. No. Not at all. Oh, no. He used the term right hand as symbolic, but right. didn't he tell you what it means? Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious, it's glorious in power. In power. Thy right hand, O Lord. Look at it. Amen. Symbolic, then deed. That's right. What is it? Thy right hand, O Lord, right hand, o God. hath dashed in pieces the enemy. He ain't going around smacking the enemy around with his hands. <laughs> no. He's doing it with his power and with his authority. That's right. Uh -huh. Back in Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. All right. See now that I, even I, I want to crush the possibility <laughs> of another God being with Jehovah. That's right. Elohim. I am that I am. Another God being with the spirit of Christ. That's it. Go with your God. That's right. Yeah. See, Listen at this. See now see that, now that I, I, even even I, I, am he. I'm he. And there is no God with me. What did the one God say? I kill. I kill. And I make alive. I make alive. I wound. I wound. And I heal. I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. Isaiah chapter yeah, 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shoot down right. the possibility of it being a God. The possibility That's right. of it being a God with them. That's right. Now... I want to shoot down the possibility of it being a God before him. That's right. Or after him. That's right. Or besides him. <laughs> That's right. All three. All three. Yeah, yeah, hear this. Now in Isaiah chapter 43, we're at verse Anybody 10. Anybody fight this, you got to be a Christmas fool. <laughs> Amen. Get this. Isaiah chapter 43, and we're at verse 10. I want all religious churchgoers. 
If you don't go to church, all religious leaders, yeah. that's teaching the people there's two gods, three gods, four gods. Yes. The truth of God challenge all of you. That's right. I'm upholding one. That's right. Thank of it. One. One. My God, man, I, I, I'm standing flat-footed with my one. That's right. And with my one, I'll battle creation. That's right. Yeah. Amen. What did he say? Isaiah chapter 43 and read verse 10. Listen at this. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Wait a minute. Who's talking? Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. And what did the Lord say? And my servant whom I have chosen. What is it? That ye may know and believe me. God, listen. Even the Lord is clear about who he wants you to believe. Oh, That's right. Never yeah. mind nobody else. That's right. That you may know and believe me. And understand that. Understand. That I am that he. I am he. Before me. Listen. Amen. Before me. There was no God formed. There was no God that was made. No. Neither shall there be after me. And there me. won't be no God to be made after me. Right. Even you can worship idols and images. I, even I. I, even I. Am the Lord. Am the Lord. And beside me. And wait. Mm. And besides, wait, I got before. Amen. I got after. After. And now let's get beside. Yeah. And beside me. Besides me. There is no Savior. Amen. Right. Now, tell my viewers mm -hmm. that read the scripture, Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. God is talking here. That's right. And said, besides me, there is no savior. No savior. And yet Jesus, he's the savior. That's right. So is it two saviors in heaven? That's right. God said he the savior. He's the savior. Jesus said he's the savior. That's right. And God said, besides him, there is no savior. No savior. And yet Jesus come to save. That's right. I dare you to tell me we got two saviors. In the book of Isaiah chapter I 45. I dare any preacher, any apostle, any half pint prophet or little amen, deacon, whatever you call yourself. I dare you to tell me it's two saviors. That's right. I dare you to tell me Jesus the savior is standing next to God the savior. That's right. That's right. That would give you two of them. That's right. You see how they can't explain the Bible? That's right. They can't, they can't, they can't come out with the scripture. No. Get me. Isaiah chapter 45 and at verse 21. Listen. Tell ye and bring them near. Yeah. Tell them. And bring them near. Bring them close. Yea, let them take counsel together. Let them advise themselves. Who hath declared this from ancient times? Yes. Who hath told it from that time? Uh -huh. Have not I the Lord? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me. Wait a minute. God is talking. That's right. There is no God else besides me. What else is it? A just God. I'm a just God. And a savior. Wait. I'm a what? And a savior. Hold that. Give me Titus. Yes. 2.13. That's right. Hear this? That's right. Hear this? That's Hear right. this? Titus chapter 2 Hear and verse 13. This? All of you that got more than one God, I dare you to tell me it's two saviors. Amen. The Lord God says he's a just God. And a savior. And a savior. There is that, none beside me. There's none. None beside me. So that means there's no other saviors but him. That's right. That's right. Is that right? That's right. There ain't no other saviors but him. That's it. Now look at Titus. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. 2, 13. Looking for that blessed hope. Glory to God. Amen. Looking for the blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God. And... And our Savior. He's our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is what? The great God and our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Who is it? The great God and our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Go back to Isaiah. Back to Isaiah 45 and verse 21. That's what? A just God. He's a just what? A just God. He's a just what? A just God. Who is he talking about? And the Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a just God and Savior. There is none beside me. You come jump on Pastor Jennings with two saviors. Look unto me. Come jump on Pastor Jennings with two saviors. That's right. Who? Everybody. <laughs> That's right. Look unto me. God talking. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. Look unto me. And be ye saved. What? Look unto me. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Who said it? Look unto me. Who said it? A just God and a Savior. Look unto me and be ye saved. Yeah. That's right. He said, for I am God, a just God and a Savior. And there's none else. Look at this just God is telling you to look to who? Look unto me. And what else? And be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. 
For I am God and there is none else. Wonderful. Hallelujah. There was God say, look to him. Look unto me. And be saved. That's right. He said, for I am God. And there is none else. When he said there's none else, there's no other God, no other just one, no other savior. That's right. But now look at Titus 2.13. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God. And our Savior, who is it? Jesus Christ. Yeah. But what did Isaiah say? A just God and a Savior, there is none beside me. Read all of it. A just God and a Savior, there is none beside me. What else? Look unto me and be ye saved. Give chapter and verse for that. Isaiah 45, and that was at verse 22. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Who? All the ends of the earth. For I am God. I am God. And there is none else. None else. Amen. Amen. So when the Bible says Jesus was standing on the right hand of God, right. you took it literal. That's that right. Jesus is sitting down or standing Amen. on the right hand That's of right. the Almighty. That's right. Well, that would make one Savior standing next to another Savior. To, that's right. That would give you two Saviors. There is no God else beside me. And God made it plain. There is no God else beside me. There ain't no me. God besides me. A just God and Not a, a Savior. Not a just God besides him. That's right. There's no saviors besides him. There is none beside me. And he said, I want you to look unto me. Look unto me. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God. Now think of it. You said you can't be saved without Jesus. That's right. That's right. And if I can't be saved without Jesus, I'm saying you cannot be saved unless God saves you. That's right. That's right. But when I say Jesus, I'm simply calling you his name. His name. That's it. Two saviors in heaven. <laughs> I'm jump on Pastor Jennings. Right. I'll take you on a 1932 ride. That's right. After I shoot you with scriptures, I'll roll you out on the sidewalk of your false church. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. Bible is talking here. And there is no God else beside me. No God else. No God else One beside me. One man wrote me and said, I debate you. Mm -hmm. He said, I got revelation that Jesus was a God. And Jehovah is the God. Ain't no Bible say he was a God. No. You are a lie. That's right. That's right. My Bible tell me he's the great God. That's right. Not a God. The great God. Listen at this. Titus chapter 2, still at verse 13. That's what? Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God. The. Not a God. The great God. What is it? And our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Come jump on Pastor Jennings. I'll make you lick them two gods up. <laughs> That's right. And three gods and four and gods. gods. All love is from hell. That's right. We got one Savior. Hallelujah. That's it. One. That's right. That's one Savior. And there is no God else beside me. Look at God talking. Isaiah 45 still in verse 22. Many works. Diversity of Diversity operations. Of operations. But by the same Lord. That's right. All right, let's go back to the epistle of John. Let me finish out that. Amen. Epistle of John, there's so much that's on me, but <laughs> I'm ready to work. Second back, chapter. Back in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Begin at verse 14. Quickly. At verse 14. All right. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Yes. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. Amen. You know when you're strong, no false teaching can root you up. No. No. None. 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 One man wrote me and said... Uh, he quoted Isaiah 9 and 6. Unto us a child is born, a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder, the name shall be called one of the counsel of the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. No end. He said, you utilize that scripture to uh, say that Jesus was the mighty God. But the Bible didn't say that. He said, it shall be called that. Oh, he left his number. I called him back. Mm -hmm. I asked him one question. I said, what Isaiah called him. Mm -hmm. Did Isaiah tell the truth? Or did Isaiah lie what he called him? <laughs> Amen. Called him that. I say when Isaiah called him, called him the, mighty God, the mighty God, when he called him that, did he tell the truth? Amen. And I asked him, how many, how many mighty gods is it? Right. 
He said, what? I said, well, Isaiah called him the mighty God. The mighty Isaiah God. lied when he called him that. That's right. He hung the phone up on me. <laughs> Amen. Hmm? Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Oh, this thing is right. I don't care how you look at it. That's right. It's just right anyway. That's right. And it's strong in the earth. Oh, yes. Amen. These men that used to believe in one God now picking up two, two three, and, three. and four, and five, and they think if they do this, it'll bring in more members. But I'm telling you right now, oh, yeah. to all viewers, don't you know when you've been taught that there's one God for years, and then you turn your back and denounce it, you can't say you've done it ignorantly, yeah, because yeah. when you do it, you a blasphemy. blaspheme. That's yes! right. That's right. Right then you ruin your chance for eternity with God. That's right. Huh? That's right. You blaspheme. Blaspheme. Bible says in Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord. You see our. Our God. See, we that have the God of Israel, our God. Our God. Ours. That's right. How many do we have? The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is what? The Lord our God is one Lord. That's right. That's right. How many laws do we have? One Lord. Yes. How one. many laws do we have? One, one Lord. Give me Philippians, I believe, 2 9. Amen. Good. How many laws do we have? One Lord. Philippians, Philippians chapter I 2, believe, two nine. at verse 9. What is it? Wherefore God also hath highly exalted yes. him and given him a name which is above every name. Yes. That at the name of Jesus uh -huh. every knee should bow of every things in heaven. Every knee should bow of things in heaven. And things in earth. And things in and earth. And things under the and earth. And things under the earth. And at verse 11. And, and what is it? And that every tongue. Every tongue. Should confess. Shall acknowledge. That Jesus Christ. Who is it? Is Lord. Yes. And what did the Old Testament say? The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is how many? Is one Lord. And what did Paul say? And that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You only got one Lord. One Lord. That's right. And Psalms 100 and verse 3. That's what? Know ye that the Lord. Do you know him? Amen. Do you know who the Lord is? That's right. Who did the Bible say the Lord is? Know ye that the Lord, yes. he is God. Who is the Lord? He is God. All right, let's see the Lord talk in Revelation 1, 7 and 1, 8. Revelation chapter 1, verses 7 and verse 8. Says what? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's right. What did it say? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who? He cometh with clouds. Give me Thessalonians to hold that he. Amen. Hold that he hold that's that coming he. with clouds. <laughs> that's right. So we can see what Paul says. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 15. That's what? For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, what is it? that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord yes. shall not prevent them which are asleep. What happened? For the Lord himself. The Lord himself. No, he got two more with him. For the Lord himself. Oh, no, a trinity is coming back. For the Lord himself. Two more with him. The Lord himself. No, they themselves. The Lord himself. The Lord himself. Shall descend from shall heaven. Shall descend from with heaven. With a shout. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel. With the voice of an archangel. And with the trump of God. With the trump of God. And the dead in Christ Listen. shall rise and first. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain. Shall what? Shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To do what? To meet the Lord. To meet who? To meet the Lord. To meet who? To meet the Lord. Where? In the air. Go back to Revelation 1, 7. Back in Revelation 1 and verse 7. What did he say? The he cometh with clouds. Hallelujah. And it's talking about Jesus. That's right. He cometh with clouds. He cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Talking about Jesus. And all kindreds and they of that the earth pierced him and all the kindreds of the shall earth shall wail well because well of him. Because of him. Look, he, at the, look at what the Lord said. I am Alpha. At verse 8. I am Alpha. Jesus, Jesus talking. I am Alpha. The Lord's talking. That's right. I am Alpha. And Omega. What you mean? I'm the beginning of all things. I'm the ending of all things. The beginning. I'm the beginning. And the ending. 
And the ending saith the Lord. Who said it? The Lord. Who's talking? The Lord. Who's coming in the clouds? The Lord. Who's our Savior? The Lord. What did the Lord say about himself? Which is, which is, and which was, and was, and which is to come. What did God declare himself to be? The Almighty. Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is God, Almighty God. So when the Bible says Jesus standing on the right hand of God, he ain't standing on the right hand of another. No, no. He is God. That's right. He the Stephen saw Jesus standing That's right. in that glorified state That's it. and then told you who he was looking at. Now That's hear right. me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, stiff necks. You, Pastor, just read Acts 7, mm -hmm. 55. 55. But he don't let you keep reading. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 7, we'll start at verse 55. Follow me. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. That's what the preachers don't have. That's right. They got a bunch of change in their pocket, but they ain't got the Holy Ghost. That's right. He being full of the Spirit of God. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. Now you think I'm going to believe you. You can't even see around the corner. That's right. I'm going to believe the man that looked into heaven. That's right. You can't even see across the street. Amen. You can't even see from your bedroom downstairs. That's right. What fool will look at you and believe what you said, but a fool like you. That's right. Huh? But he being full of the Holy Ghost. He being full of the Holy Ghost. Look up, look looked up steadfastly, steadfastly into heaven. Steadfastly into heaven. And saw the glory of God. Wait. The glory of God is the function of God or the handiwork of God or the appearance of God. That's right. He saw the presence of God. And, and, Jesus, and Jesus standing where on the right hand of God. That's exactly where they stop. Where they stop. And right then they say, Jesus is on his right hand. It mean what it said. No, it don't. No, it don't. Because the Bible addressed Jesus as God. That's right. And what you going to say? Jesus on the right hand of another God? Another God. Or God is there and God is there? No. Oh, no. You see, verse 55, and you take it literal. Right. And I hear, hear Pastor Jennings, I dare any preacher. Or church member that come on in here and prove to me that Jesus is literally standing, standing. on the right hand of someone else. That's right. Because <laughs> then I'm going to ask you one question. one question. Is Jesus Christ God? Yeah. And if you say no, I'm going to make you a liar there. That's and if right. you say yes, then I'm going to ask you how is one God standing with another? You got two gods now. That's right. See, you, you, you went as far as verse 55. 55. I'm able to go further than that. That's right. And I'm going to show you in that same chapter right. who was Stephen looking at. That's right. And who was he calling on. That's right. Here the old troublemaker now. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man. You see, you can bring me all the scriptures you want. I won't dodge none of them. <laughs> That's right. I would say, God, I dive into them like a pig in slop. That's right. And, and just slop all around in the scriptures. That's and right. come out and put it together right. That's right. Amen. When you look at it with logic. Oh, you see that? Jesus, right hand of God. Right. When you look at it logically, logically. you're going to make a mess. Oh, yes. That's why you have to have the mystery of God to look at the things of God. That's right. Because you got to go back to the scripture that says right. there's no God with him. With him. And yet Jesus is on his right hand. That's right. But there's no God no with God him. No God with him. And yet Jesus is on his right hand. That's right. And according to the Bible, Jesus Christ was God. That's for right. he, the Bible says he's Emmanuel being interpreted. God with us. God with us. That's right. That's right. That's what the Bible says. That's right. He's Emmanuel being interpreted. God, with, God us. with us. So the God that was with us was seen in heaven standing on the right hand of God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come jump on me. Yeah. That's right. Any place, any time. Amen. Bring your scripture. That's right. 
don't you know this Bible is given to me? <laughs> yes, it is. To take apart. That's right. None of your scriptures is difficult to me. That's right. Not at all. Amen. Oh, thank God I got mine like Paul said he got his. That's right. I got it by revelation. By revelation. Jesus is Emmanuel. That's right. Being interpreted God with, God us. with us. That's right. God, who was Christ, right. was seen standing right. on the right hand of, right God. Hand of God. Was that literal? Mm. Because if it's going to be literal, that makes the prophets a lie. That's right. For God says, That's right. there's no God with no me. No God with me. And yet the Bible says Jesus standing is the, on the Almighty. Right. right. Jesus said it. That's right. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, and the last. Say if the Lord which is and was and is to come. The Almighty. The Almighty. Jesus admitted he's the Almighty. That's right. Now, was the Almighty standing next to God? Mm. Come on, preachers. You think you're so deep? Come on. That's right. Just walk in on me with your two and three and four and five gods. Right. Amen. I beat your britches off with the Bible. That's right. Hey, I'm a singular God preacher. That's right. Challenging the entire world. That's right. And the wilderness of America <laughs> that bring me another God another that God. rivals Jehovah. Amen. Are you getting me? Go ahead, brother. Bring me another God. That's right. That rivals Jehovah. <laughs> you come on here. Amen. If you're an apostle, come on. If you're a prophet, come on. If you're a bishop or evangelist or elder, come on, you too. If you're an acting deacon next to a real deacon, both of y'all come. That's right. Come on. Come on. You don't need no invitation. No. Just walk in in any meeting with two gods. That's right. The challenge is out. Y'all can say what y'all want over social media now. Talk all you want. Gino Nicolius Jennings is challenging the two and three and the multi-god world. I stand on my God like the mm. prophets. Mm. Amen. The prophet Bellum said, behold, I shall see him, but not now. I shall look upon him, but not nigh. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Seth. Hallelujah. Balak took Balaam to another place and wanted Balaam to cuss Israel. Cuss Israel. And, and he thought if I change the environment, I can get Balaam to cuss, but he wouldn't do it. The Spirit Hallelujah. of God came on Balaam. That's right. He said, how shall I cuss whom God have not, not cussed? Cuss. How shall I defy whom God have not defied? Far from the top of the rocks, I see him. Glory to God. And from the hills, I behold him. He said, the people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob and them in the fourth part of Israel? Let me die. The death of the righteous. And let my last end. Go and take God. Be like his. Be like his. Be like his. Hey. The prophets always saw one. one God. That's right. Always. Every time God appeared, That's they right. always, saw one. always saw one. And who Stephen is looking at now, he see one. That's right. Make me prove it, preachers. Come on, make me prove it. Amen. Will you please make me prove it? <laughs> Listen at this. Acts 7 and verse 55. Parliament. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven. Some of you people write me in court epistle of John. I believe uh, 370. Yeah, three, they've been reckoned in heaven. Father, word, and the Holy Ghost, need 301. I believe that. Right. Father is God. Word is the speech of God. And the Holy Ghost is the attribute, uh, is the attribute of God. God. All that's just simply one that's God. That's right. Many functions. He's Father. How? By creation. He created everything. Right. He's Word because he spoke everything into existence. Let, let there be light. That's right. And, and then the Word was made flesh. He used speech to bring the non-existence into existence. That's right. He's also function Holy Ghost. What you mean? He's a comfort and keeper of the church. That's right. Come on, James. Many functions. Or it's that God right. by this one. That's right. Three that bear record in heaven, Father, Word, Word and Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. And these three are one. I dare you to tell me three persons there. That's I right. I make you read it. That's right. That's right. Amen. You know, you Trinitarians have made podcasts and videos all about Pastor Jennings preaching this one. Why don't you stop doing that internet cheap talk and come on in here? Amen. I said there's one God and I challenge the world Amen. with it. The whole world. I don't care if you're black, white, Arab, Hispanic. I don't care. That's right. Your level of education, I challenge the world. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, we're being in Greensboro at the convention center this week coming. If you're going to come, you ain't got to write me. Just walk in. Right. 
pulled one of the brothers aside and said, look, I'm here to tell Pat to prove to Pastor Jennings that there's two gods. Would you please let Pastor Jennings know I'm here? All right, we'll let you know you're here. Then, then, then it's on. That's right. That's then it's on. That's all. Come on, it's on. That's right. And remember, you got to give Bible that says there's two gods. That's right. Just like I'm able to read, there's one. There's one. You got to give Bible that say it. You can't. You can't make it out of that. No. Right. I want Bible that say it. Right. How do I know I shouldn't steal? Because the Bible says thou shalt not steal. Right. How do you? I want to know there's two gods. I want Bible that says there's two gods. That's right. If, if it's not no problem. And you believe it, mm -hmm. you should be able to read it. That's right. If you believe it, read it. Read it. If you believe it, read it. Read it. That's right. Come jump on, Pastor Jennings. Call me arrogant. Call me boastful. Call me what you want. I, I'm very boastful about the God of my salvation. That's right. I boast about him being one. Oh, yeah. And I brag about he don't need no help. That's right. I brag about he have no rivals. I brag about God don't have a partner and no associates. No associates. Oh, I brag about That's it. That's right. I brag about he stretched off the heavens alone. alone. I brag about he spread and brought the earth by himself. That's right. I brag about he ride on the wings of the wind and walk among the cursings of heaven. That's right. I brag about he gave the sea her decree. Glory to God. Hey, That's hallelujah. Right. I brag about it. <laughs> and I say like Paul, no man shall stop me from this boasting. This boasting. Hallelujah. I boast about my one God anywhere. That's right. Everywhere That's I right. walk in a dark alley. Why the dogs are barking. Let the dogs know it's one God. <laughs> they bark, roo, roo, one God. <laughs> roo, roo, one God. Er, one. <laughs> hey! That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's it. Come on back. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Come on back. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. All of you fake apostolic and Pentecostal and imitation holiness fakers. Yeah. You got more than one God. You are religious blasphemers. Blasphemers. You got more than one God. That's right. Of heaven and earth. That's right. You are religious blasphemers. Blasphemers. Hallelujah to God. That's right. All right, let's deal with this scripture, Acts 7 55. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Full, hallelujah, full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. Looked steadfastly into heaven. And saw the glory of God. And saw God's glory. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And Jesus on God's right hand. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man standing on the and right the hand of, of God. the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. I believe that. Believe that. I believe that. That's right. But he ain't on the right hand of somebody else. No. That's right. We're going to show you who he was looking at. Then they cried and out. And we're going to show you who he going to call on. That's right. And watch how he opened it up, the mystery. That's right. Listen. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Yes. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet. Listen closely, viewers. Whose name was Saul. Yes. We're at verse 59. Listen. And they stoned Stephen. What? And they, and they stoned Stephen. I got to go Logan on you. That's right. They stoned Stephen. Stephen. Calling. Calling. Upon God. Amen. Stephen was calling upon how many? Calling upon G-O-D. By what name? Saying, Lord Jesus. <laughs> This is after, after the vision came. But he being I saw the, Jesus standing, standing on the right hand of on God. On the right hand of God. And they stoned. But the spirit wasn't done with Stephen. That's right. Wow, he was being stoned. That's right. He was stealing the spirit. That's right. And God didn't want the world to be left hanging. That's right. Thinking it was two up there. That's right. Because he said, thou shall have. No other God before me. That's right. For I, the Lord, your God. That's right. Am a jealous God. That's right. And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen. <laughs> Calling upon God. Calling upon how many? Calling upon God. 
what did he say? And saying, Lord Jesus. He called who? Calling upon God. By what name? Lord Jesus. Now, I dare you to tell me he called on too. Amen. They stoned Stephen calling upon God. They called, he called on God. And saying, Lord Jesus. If Jesus Christ wasn't God, what would he call him that? That's right. That's right. That's right. This is after it's written. I see Jesus standing on the right hand of God. That's right. The blind men that leave the blind say this too. That's right. Literal. Jesus standing next to God. Next Come to on, God. Come on. Stephen let you know, oh, I don't see that. They stoned Stephen calling upon God. I'm going to call on one. Saying, Lord Jesus. And the one I see is God. Lord Jesus. And that's the one I'm going to call on. That's right. You didn't get the mystery. That's right. Right hand don't mean literal. No. Right hand mean power. That's right. He saw Jesus standing in the power of his might. That's it. And the glorified state. That's it. That's what that means. That's it. When he come on back the third day, he was so a natural body. Came on up spiritual. That's right. Took that glorified body and took it into eternity. Into eternity. Was it standing literally on the right hand of somebody else? No, no. He was so God. That's it. And then he called God by name. Saying, Lord Jesus. And he saw the form, the shape, the fashion, and the figure That's that right. God used to redeem us. That's right. That's right. So he said what? Saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He called on who? Calling upon God. He called on who? Calling upon God. Tell me he called on too. Amen. Calling upon G-O-D. I slap you in the mouth with Bible. That's right. That's right. I said I slap you in the mouth with Bible. <laughs> I rearrange your jaw with Bible. With the Bible. That's right. I'm not just talking. I mean what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I thank God how this message is waking Trinitarians up by the hundreds. That's right. Thousands of letters is pouring in. Thank God I was in Johannesburg, Africa. An old woman, about in her 80s, mm -hmm. came to me crying. She said, all my life, I was told there was three. Mm -hmm. She said, and then when I heard you, I understand that Jesus Christ was God. She said, I stood up and yelled, there's one God. That's right. She said, she started clapping. There's one God. Hallelujah. That's right. Hey! Amen. Amen. Only heathens and pagans, pagans. believe in three that and two true. and four. That's right. You a bunch of heathens. Come get past the Genesis. Amen. Amen. You shouldn't take this lying down or standing up. Come get past the Genesis. That's right. I preach as one God, and anybody that preaches more than one is a heathen, a liar, an infidel, and a representative of all the pits of hell. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I Hallelujah. stand boldly on my one God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen at this again. And they, back in Acts chapter 7 and verse 55. The 59th verse clears up. Acts chapter verse 55 and verse 60, 56. It clears it up. That's right. Just like Genesis 127 clears up Genesis 126. That's right. Give me to Genesis 126. Genesis chapter 1 and at verse 26. There's another scripture they read out of stupidity and sheer <laughs> ignorance, That's trying right. to make God more than one, you infidel. In, that's right. You bunch of infidel, you Christmas heathen. <laughs> Amen. Hear this. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. What is it? And God said, let us. Ah, uh, you see that? Amen. Let us. Let us make man. God offset him. Oh, that's right. Oh, God offset man. That's he offset right. that colonel of mine. Amen. That colonel of mine read that and went running. Went running. Huh? That's right. Spiritual mind read that and took his time. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. So we'll take God, did you hear this? And God said, let us. God says. Let us make man in let our us image. Make man. In our image. In our image. After our life. Look at, he used us. He used our. Use us. Use our. That's yeah. right. Speaking as if it's more than one. That's right. That's right. Amen. Manifesting what Paul will say later. Mm -hmm. There are diversity of operations, operations. But by the same L-O-R-D. That's right. Same Lord. That's right. 
You see, they can't make the Bible harmonize. No. They get stuck on one scripture and say, it means what it says. It means what it says. Yeah. All, right. All right. Notice. Genesis 1, 26. Sound like it's more than one. That's right. Yeah. All you got to do is drop your eyes down to verse 27. Genesis, and it'll tell you how many made man. Genesis 1 and verse 27. Yes. So God created oh. man. Oh, so G-O-D did it? So G-O-D created man in his own image. No. If he said us and now he got some others up there that he want to get their image included. God created man in his own image. You see, your eyes stop short at verse 26. They put skid marks in your head. <laughs> That's right. You saw Genesis 1, 26. Ah! <laughs> That's right. That's right. Jumped out and started jumping and shouting, more than one, more, more than, than one. one. More than You're infidel. In, that's, right. that's right. Put your seatbelt on and let your eyes drop down to verse 27, so which, God, will, which will clear up. That's right. Verse 26. So God created man. Who did it? God created man. How? In, in his own image. Just one image. In the image of God created he him. Oh. In the image of who? In the image of God created he him. So these are passages of scriptures, viewers, that blind men uh, use to try to pluralize the Godhead. And when these That's men right. use these scriptures, that lets you know God didn't send none of them. That's right. Because every God sent man whom God spoke to, he preached one, one. he knows it's one, and he associate none with that one. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Go back. First Epistle of John 1, 15, quickly. <laughs> back in 1 John. Knock off. Back, in, back in 1 John oh, chapter 2. Oh, this is Holy Ghost persuasion, oh, and I want to say to all of you that are commenting and fighting, yes. you can quote all the scriptures you like. Bring them to me in person. Mm. Right, that's right. Bring me the scriptures in person. If you don't do it, get your bishop to do it. That's right. Amen. Get your bishop to do it. Get your so-called Jerry Curl head reverend. Yeah. Amen. And your transvestite elder. <laughs> you get them. And see if I don't take the Bible passage, Genesis declaring to the world, that I will sweep creation That's with right. one God. That's right, with a big broom, and Pastor. I said I sweep, hallelujah. That's I right. sweep creation That's right. with one God. Amen. Amen. Ain't no one living can defeat my one God. Mm -mm. Think of it. Amen. Here's this one fella about 170 pounds telling the world <laughs> that ain't nobody can beat my one God. That's right. Nobody. He's father yes. in creation. In creation. His flesh had the title son, and he got in that flesh to redeem us. That's right. He bears the title Holy Ghost because he knows we need to be comforted and kept. That's right. He bears the title healer because we, he comes to our rescue. Oh, yes. He bears the title provider because we, he sees that we are in need. That's right. That's right. Many, hallelujah. Operations. Many operations by this one. Right. So you viewers that's on social media yelling now, hollering now, quote all the scriptures you want. Just come show up in person. Yeah. That's all you got to do. And I'm going to give you the worst beating I will outbeat you than your mama and daddy did to you. That's right. If you think I'm talking, just walk in. Yeah. If you believe it, you should be able to read it. Yeah. You believe it's two gods? Read the scripture that said. Now that shows your stupidity. Yes. Because if you can't even see a scripture, not one that says one. there's two gods, why would you go around saying it? That's right. If you don't see a scripture that says there are three distinct persons in the Godhead, why would you say it? Amen. If you say it so boldly, then read it with just as much confidence where the Bible said it. That's right. Whatsoever things that are written. A fourth time is written for our learning. Yeah. I'm able to say, oh, ain't no, ain't no God with them, no and God. I can read it. You can read it. I'm able to say, ain't no God besides him. him, I can read it. That's right. I'm able to say, Jesus is the Savior, yeah. and I can read, you can read it. Read it. I'm able to say, the Lord declared himself to be the Almighty, the Almighty. and I'm able to tell you who the Lord is and read it. And read it. Wonderful. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. That's what makes the truth of God so outstanding. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that's why you find souls coming in that's right. out of Jerusalem and Israel and Damascus and the United Arab Emirates and all across the Asiatic world, waking up all across Africa mm -hmm. where all this Trinitarian junk is being preached for hundreds of years. 
Glory to God, but they're waking up now. That's right. I mean, I've got thousands of letters from thousands of multi-God believers. Mm. You can hear them comment on social media. Thank you for opening my eyes. Yeah. I know there's one God. Oh, yes. And you can hear fighters on there just trying to bring Bibles. Jesus said, I and my father. I and my father are one. Are one. That's two to what? <laughs> to what? Come on, huh? See, right. when they bring scripture like that, that's when I put the sleeper hole on you. <laughs> that's right. I put, I put the scripture here and put the scripture there and then lock it. Lock it. To what? There we go. Huh? Come here, right. ready. Huh? When you come, I and my father. And my father are one. Right then, I get you. To what? To what? To what? To what? That's right. He got to tap out. He got to tap out. Because if you say it's two gods, you add it to the Bible. That's right. Because the Bible says don't add, don't add. And don't take away. That's right. In plain terms from the hood, I'll bust you up with Bible. That's right. I do it. That's and right. I do a complete job. I'm declaring that everybody that go to any religious setting, any church, that preaches more than one God, you are a member of a false church. Oh, yes. Following a That's false right. prophet, following a liar. Oh, yes. Who couldn't protect that two, three, four, five, six God religion. If I was going to put him in an electric chair, you had to turn <laughs> old Sparky on. That's right. Imagine having two supervisors on duty the same day. Same time. And both of them trying to tell you to do something. You know how confused you will be? That's right. It's hard enough to obey one. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, we believe Jesus is the Savior. So do I. So do I. So what is God? Is God the Savior too? I dare you to tell me he isn't. Right. That's right. I dare you to tell me he isn't. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, son, real quick. 1 John chapter 2 at verse 14. Read fast. I have written unto you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Yes. I have written unto you young men because ye are strong. Strong. That's and what got us standing. Oh, yes. If you take note, ever since Lucifer was cast out of heaven, his prime mission had been to belittle God. Right. So what did he do? He went all around the world and moved on men and women to start Various religions. That's right. yeah. And all of those religions have one thing in common. Yeah. To the belittlement of God. That's right. To try to take away God's greatness. Yeah. To look at him, say he's the almighty, but then they dwindle him down and say, oh, he ain't made heavens alone. He had help. Yeah, he had help. God is too big. To, 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 to do this, he needs some help. He needs some help. Satan had made religion oh, yeah. to try to belittle God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And viewers, and you that's in holiness around the world, devil is after you. That's right. That's true. Because any of you that's in this and go out, you don't have no excuse. No. If you denounce God being one, after you've been taught this, you got a ticket to hell. Oh, yes. You have blasphemed the almighty, and you can't say you've done it ignorantly at all. At all. Glory to God, because you have heard the truth broken down in its most simplified form. That's right. Can't get away from it. Amen. Let the preacher build you up. Let the preacher hype you up. Do whatever you want the moment it come out of your mouth. It ain't no one God. It's two gods. You have blasphemed Blasphemy. and you Blasphemy. have signed your license to go to hell. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That stuff don't hurt me. No. You heard it yourself throughout eternity. Yes. Oh, yes. Hear yeah, me. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And what? And the word of God abideth in you. Yeah. And ye have overcome the wicked one. Anytime you've been taught that Jesus Christ is God, is God. and you done shouted from it, spoken tongues from it, then a liar come along and tell you he's not God, he's and not. you side with that liar. Oh, Jesus Christ is not God. You done blasphemed against the Son of yes. Man. That's right. And when you say it's more than one God, you have blasphemed against the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Ghost. And when you say the Holy Ghost is the third person, you don't blaspheme against the Spirit of God again. That's right. My Lord. Lord 
the God with the Bible, we have bulldozed creation against the wall. Right. That's we have right. take the Bible and knock down every religious wall. That's right. Amen. We build on one God. Oh, That's, yes. right. That's why I can speak so bold and so strong. Oh, yes. And dare anyone to do anything about it at all. At all. You sit out there and write your letters and make your comment in the corner of a live webcast and try to quote scripture. That's all right. Oh, yes. You and your scripture count. Oh, yeah. Bring your bishop with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See if I don't twist them up in the Bible. I make them dance for me. <laughs> Amen. I make them dance to all my scriptures. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Pastor Jennings will make your bishop dance for him. <laughs> I do that. Yes, you will. Lord God, I know what scripture to know what note to hit. Go ahead, man. Amen. I make his body quiver from the liver. <laughs> That's, right. Yeah. That's right. Yes, I will. That's right. You think I'm just talking? You come on in here. Amen. It's a total different atmosphere when you come where I am. That's right. It's oh, hot up here, brother. It's hot. Huh? Yes, it is. Once I get a hold of you with that Bible, that wrap that stuff tight on you tighter than your skin. That's right. I take your own scripture yeah! and make you lick it up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hmm? I go right to your scripture and show you how dumb you are with it. <laughs> That's right. How blind you are with it. That's right. Hear what I'm telling you, human family. That's right. That devil is making mockery against God. Yeah. Got you folk out here talking about it's more than one. More than one. More than one. My Lord. And that teaching was out before my grandparents was born. Oh, yeah. These are the last days. It's old teaching. And we are taking a bold, firm stand yeah. that God is one. That's it. Jesus Christ is he. That's right. And I can prove it with the Bible. With the Bible. That's right. Not difficult. That's right. Come question me. Walk in with your hands pointing. Question me. Williams do it. That's right. Williams point at me all the time. That's he's right. on the plane pointing, in the car That's pointing. That's right. And we're sitting in the hotel room talking. He's pointing. <laughs> Come in, my, he come in my office walking the point. <laughs> Sometimes you see him sitting there. <laughs> that's, that's right. Are you getting what I'm telling wonderful, you? Wonderful, wonderful. Hey, you know the truth of God follows. I love this thing. Yes. It's a beautiful feeling to know you can stand right. on your tiptoes. That's right. And thunder to the world. That's wonderful. That Jesus Christ is God Almighty yeah. and is just one. Amen. And there's none with him. None with him. And no false prophet on social media can make me second guess. No. Why? Because I'm sound in it. That's it. Strong in it. That's it. Not no. moving. That's right. At all. Come on, Sam. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. Yes. And the word of God abideth in you. Uh -huh. And ye have overcome the wicked one. Uh -huh. Not, love not the world. Don't love the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world. All this Christmas and fake religion and pagan worship yeah. and multi-god worship, that's of the, world. of the world. None of that stuff is for God's people. No. Uh -huh. If any man love the world, uh -oh. if any man love the world, any man love this foolishness, the love of the Father is not in him. God ain't in you. For all that is in the world. Wait a minute. Amen. All that is in the world, what is it, Williams? The lust of the flesh. What your flesh want. Your flesh wants to believe is more than one. That's right. Because you can't understand what's written here. That's right. You see, the Bible, that's why when you hear these men say, it ain't no mysteries in the Bible, you heard Satan's <laughs> preaching. Bible Satan. Right. All these mysteries in the Bible. That's right. There's so much stuff in here got to be unraveled and opened up. In the Bible, it even says, great, great is, is the, the mystery, mystery of godliness. One apostle said, I show you a, a mystery, mystery that we shall not all sleep. That's right. If this Bible ain't got no mysteries, then it's a common book. Yes, it is. It's common. It ain't extraordinary. It'll be ordinary. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? For all that is in the world. Oh, red be to the heavenly father. All that's in the world. The lust of the flesh. Is the, what the flesh wants. And the lust of the eyes. What the eyes want to see. And the pride of life. Pride of life, is which is not of the father. But is of the world. It's of the world. And the world passeth away. The Lord don't want you to get caught up in that stuff because he's going to burn this stuff up. And the world passeth away and, and the lust thereof. And what the people want. But he that doeth he the will of God. He that doeth the will of who? The will of God. What happened to them? Abideth forever. Glory to God. Right. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. 
to all my visitors that are here. Hallelujah. Time for you to get yourself right. Yeah. Some of you may say, I, I, I decided to come here, Pastor Jennings, because today is Christmas. Christmas ain't got nothing to do with me. That's right. No. That's right. The devil, here, here. The devil is the reason for the season. That's right. Devil is the reason for that season. That's right. Amen. That stuff is not of God. No. So if you got a Christmas tree, you go home now. When you, when you leave here, you go home. Don't even take it down neatly. Just grab it. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. You ain't got to be proper. <laughs> you ain't got to be proper about it. Just grab it. That's it. Dismantle it. I Bring it up. I had a plastic tree, Pastor. You had a plastic tree. It was an artificial tree. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. I remember tree. his tree was plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, this thing was so old, I remember it had, like, metal pipes. What? Yeah, it was metal. It was old. Oh. You put it together, it had metal pipes. It was a big <laughs> pipe in the center, and then for the extended, like, uh, leaves or whatever you call them, you, you, you take the, the, the branches, the branches you, there was metal pipes. <laughs> Listen, some, that thing was so old, a lot of the branches didn't even have fake leaves. It was, it was just pipes sticking out there. Like a, like a, plum, like a plumber. Like a plumber just, a plumber could have hung his tools on it. Aren't you glad to be delivered with? I'm with? glad. Amen. 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 I'm glad. The Bible says in Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, you sinners. Amen. Time for you to repent. What, did, what is repentance? When you're sorry and convicted about your wrong. Amen. You have to be sorry in your heart. Amen. A lot of things you've done, you didn't even know it was wrong because you was, you was misinformed. That's right. And you was following some teaching. And when you do a thing ignorantly, you're not held accountable. That's right. Accountability starts when you come into the knowledge of the truth about that matter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God wants you to repent of your sins. You know what wrong you did. You know what wrong you did. You ain't got to ask me. That's right. right. I wasn't there. Right. Amen. You know what wrong you have done and are doing. And this is what God wants you to do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Be sorry about your wrong. Straighten up. And be baptized, every one of you. God wants you to be baptized. How much of you? Every one of you. Everything that's watching around the world before this uh, year, go out. Yeah. You better surrender. That's right. Come out of the churches you're in. Come out of that religion you're in. That's right. And come repent of your sins and be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Back up and leave your churches, bishops, pastors, elders, so-called apostles, prophets, everything. That's right. Leave it. That's right. Leave it. Amen. And what? And repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. What did God say? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You ain't never had the Holy Ghost until you speak another tongue that the Spirit of God give out. Hallelujah. You know, there's a lot of folk over social media who don't like the way I sound. No. No. Yeah, I hear some of them. Every time he's on, he condemns things. I don't condemn nothing. Condemnation comes from Bible. That's right. I read the scriptures that condemn you. That's it. It ain't Geno's Genesis. Don't switch it on me. No. I know the Bible says uh, they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. The flesh. And they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. If you're going after the thing of the flesh, the Bible got you condemned, not me. Oh, yeah. Leave it to me. I wouldn't care what you're doing. Listen, That's Pastor right. Jennings right. wouldn't care what you're doing. That's right. Not at all. I wouldn't care. I'll be out there just like you. That's right. Buying gifts for my wife and all seven kids and for my wife and for my, uh, for my mother and for my in-laws and for my brothers and sisters. And you might even give me one. I, I might even get one. <laughs> yes. If I was out there like you, hey man, I, be, I, be, I, I have a little box and may buy whims or watches. That's right. and, and, and be smiling like your wicked pastor. Very Christmas. That's right. Happy New Year. I stood the devil out of hell. Amen. That's right. That's right. I'm here to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. God wants you to repent and get right with him. Anybody want to get on God's side today and be baptized in water? If you done repented of your sins and you sorry in your heart for your wickedness, and if you want to be baptized the right way and come out of falsehood, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, 
Our little brother right there. Hallelujah. Amen. He know God is good, isn't he? Thank you. Yes. Good job. So, viewers, Hallelujah. you hear any preacher saying he believes in multiple gods? And he says Jesus Christ is not God. Just tell him walk in on any of our services. And let us know he's there. Yeah. Don't just sit there and then go back. I went. <laughs> no, let us know you're there. Yeah. Amen. And be prepared to dance. To dance. Huh? <laughs> William's got my music book. That's right. Oh, I take God and I got the trumpet in my hand. That's right. Kevin, yes, I'm you do. ready to blow it too, brother. That's right. Amen. I declare that I make your preacher dance to what the Bible says. What the Bible says. I'm telling you, I make him do it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He's going to dance a good dance. Oh, yeah. He's going to dance according to Scripture. That's it. And the rhythm going to beat one. That's right. That's one. One, one, one. Yeah. One way to God. One way to God. Eh? Amen. All right. Come on back. Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. willing, prayer begin at 530. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Let us all stand. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, once again for thine word. We thank you, Father God, for the truth of the gospel. My God, and how you allow the souls to hear and desire to repent and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless many of the hearers. My God, that hear the truth of the gospel. Open their understanding. Open their hearts and minds to thine way, O God. We thank you, Lord God, for the man of God. We thank you, Father God, for the truth that you've given him and put in his mouth. My God, to declare thine word by thine spirit. My God, bless us now not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of the word. My God, we thank you for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us. Bless us now as we go and come again.